Hi, I'm Rob from Freedom House's Internet Freedom Team, and I'm going to show you how to install and activate the Your Freedom software. Now, the Your Freedom software, once you download it and install it and turn it on, it turns your computer into an anonymous web proxy and an anonymous SOX proxy. And what this means is that when you send a request out to the internet, it goes to a Your Freedom server first, then to the internet. It grabs the information you want, brings it back through the server, and then back to your computer, all anonymously. Now the great thing about Your Freedom is that it works with your web browser, but it also works with other software, like your IMing software, your email software, and even online games. So with that in mind, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is get the software itself. So to do that, we're going to open up our preferred web browser. I'm using Mozilla's Firefox. And you're going to go to www.your-freedom.net. Okay. At the main website, you can see a brief overview of what the Your Freedom software does. And if you want to know more, I would suggest going to Docs and FAQ. There is a pretty hefty user guide here which in, in very easy to understand terms explains everything that, the, that the, the software can do. So I would suggest going and downloading that and looking through it when you have a chance. But for right now we're going to go to the Downloads tab here. And the one thing about your freedom is you have to have an account. You have to sign up. Um, you don't have to give any personal information if you don't want to, that's optional, but you do need a username and password to use the software. So we're going to go down here. There are There is a version for Windows and a version for Mac. We're going to go with the win, for the Windows full installer, which is 12 megs, and I'm going to click Mirror US here. Now, you're going to save the file, but I've already saved the file for the tutorial, so I'm going to cancel this, but you want to save it and then uh, go and go to the place where you saved it to so that you can install it. So let's see, I'll go here, downloads, your freedom, and double click the icon. I'm going to run this and allow it. Now I'm using Vista right now, so this is installing on a Vista machine. Uh, this pretty straightforward installation wizard. Click next. Now you can choose to install it for current user only or anyone who uses a computer. I'm just going to leave it on anyone who uses a computer. And then install the default directory. Next, I'm going to let it create a, a uh, shortcut on my desktop. And next, and then let it install. It shouldn't take very long. It's not a very large program. Oh, yes. All right, now. It gives you the option to start your freedom right away, but I want to do it manually, so I'm going to uncheck the box and click finish. Close this out, and over here is the doorway to your freedom, which is their icon. So double click the icon and allow. And then you're going to select your language. I'm going to go with uh, English US. All right, so this is the user interface for your freedom. The first thing you're going to want to do once you get in here is go to Configure. All right, in the Configure screen, you can set all kinds of options, but for right now, we just want to find the closest server that we can use to browse the web anonymously. So we're going to click on Use Wizard, and this brings up a pretty straightforward wizard to connect to one of the servers. I'm going to click Next here. Now, if you're using a proxy and you know it, then you're going to want to input the information here. I'm not using one, so I'm clearing these fields. But you also have the option to use Try to Auto Detect. I'm going to click Next here. These are the different protocols that Your Freedom uses to try and get you around censorship and firewalls. So I'm going to leave all the ones that are checked, checked, and click Next. Okay, now what this is doing is it's going to go through and search for the closest and most reliable server for me to connect to in order to get to the internet anonymously. So we're just going to let this run and uh, we'll uh, come back to it once it's actually at a place where I can connect to a server. Okay, so here we can see all the servers that it grabbed for me to connect to. Now uh, this gives you the server name, the address, which country it is in, and 
the protocols that it, connect, that it can connect to. Um, since I'm in the US, I'm going to try to get the closest possible one here. So I'm going to click on this one and then click Next. Now, this is the point where you're going to have to input the username and password that you got earlier. And if you didn't get one yet, you're going to have to run back to the website and sign up for one. So I'm going to put in mine here, freedom for internet, and my password. Next. Okay, it comes up with a congratulations screen saying everything should be okay. You're going to save and exit, save and exit, and then you want to start the connection. If you disconnect and then reconnect quickly, you're going to have to go through and prove you're human. So that's why I'm doing this. You have just have to enter the number that they give you and then click the OK button. OK. As you can see, the icon here is an open door. And you can see that I'm sending information back and forth. Now, you don't have to leave the user interface open. You can close the user interface. And down here in the taskbar is the Your Freedom icon. You can right click that to stop the connection, configure, and exit. You can also click show your freedom window so you get the user interface back. And that is about all there is to installing and activating your freedom. So I hope this tutorial has been of help and good luck.